Hi, this is Raven. I had a request from subscriber Baguette Launcher, um, and that was after he watched the um, animations tutorial. And he can't get the animations to switch from one to another. Um, and he wants to know how to do that and to get the AI to react and then go back to their animation after they've dealt with whatever they need to deal with. So this uh, video will sort of cover how to do that. Okay, so I'll show you how to access the animations. Uh, that's sort of handy for those who don't know. Plus, we need to access the animations. Um, and I'll sort of show you why. So if you just put down a player, it doesn't matter what faction, go to play scenario. And once we're loaded in, press escape and click on animations. And in here we go to A for action, hit the drop down and go to cutscene. And here we have a whole bunch of different animations. So this is just gonna be a case of you in your own time going through each one to see what they do um, and what one's gonna be sort of useful in your um, scenario. So if I just try and show you a couple so, um, executioner squat. So I'll just do that. You can see, he's sort of squatting down. Now, don't be be put off by the the name and, and perhaps what they were initially intended for, because you can use this, you know, in a number of different scenarios. So this could be like a, a guy patrolling inside a base, and at this patrol point, at a waypoint he's just checking a bit of equipment so maybe he's checking a generator you know for fuel level or something so you can you can use these for other things um what else is there let's have a quick look shielding from the sun and you can see here it's got shield from the sun in loop and out i try and use the loop because the in and out are obviously just the start and finish and they're very brief so if you just use the loop it stays there for, for quite a bit okay so the other reason we need to know about the animations is to be able to use them so if you uh, while you've got it selected if you press Control and C that will copy it to your clipboard and then we can paste it into our SQF file uh, for the mission with Control and V for paste. So that's fairly simple. Now the thing that you need to remember or need to make a note of um, depending on what uh, animation you use is down here the duration so the duration of shield from the sun loop is five seconds. Now you need to make a note of that. Um, what I do is I just use my uh, calculator on my phone. So I just type in five seconds um, and I've got a note for it rather than trying to sort of tab out and keep tabbing back. It's a bit of a pain. So that's something to bear in mind. So you must remember what the duration is and then you can just control C, control V to copy and paste it. Okay, so then I'll show you why we do that in a minute. Right, so what I've got here is just a little scenario laid out um, just to save a bit of time. So what I'm going to do is show you how it works uh, and then sort of go over it. So I've just got my civilian down here again. I've just attached a Zeus so that I can sort of see what's going on um, easier. Now I've got a rifleman standing out here and in this scenario he's just re-entering the base. So this is just a basic trigger uh, to change his stance. So I've just chucked him in, box standard. So we open him up. So he's on aware um, and I think I've just reduced his speed. So I think it's not normal so I've put it to limited because we want him to walk in so he's not going to run into base 
realistically. And I've given him a name, so S1 for Soldier 1. Okay, so he's going to come into the base. This trigger is going to change his behavior from aware to safe. So he's walking in the base, sort of relaxed. And then here I've got the first waypoint. And then I've got the second waypoint, third waypoint, fourth, fifth, and then a cycle. On waypoints one, two, and three, I've got animations. Um, so I'm just going to show you, and then what I'm going to do is add in with Zeus uh, an enemy and show it that he reacts and then goes back to his cycle, and then we'll show you how we did it. So I'll just play scenario. Going to Zeus quickly, we see the guy. So he's coming in aware. Go through that trigger. And he's in safe mode. So he's coming up to his first waypoint. Which I think I use the squat one. Yeah, it's a squat one. So I could put a generator here or something like that. Looks like he's looking at something. Or we should be looking at a plant or whatever. And notice he's back in safe mode and he's going to his second waypoint. And on this one, I just used a kneel. So it's got to kneel down for a second or two. And off to his third waypoint. Again, still in safe mode. And this one I used the shield from the sun. There you go. So there he switched between three different animations. And he's going to come back. And over here it will loop, so you'll go back to the squat, and then what we'll do is we'll add in an enemy, and I'm just going to stick down a survivor just so he kills him easily, otherwise they're going to be chasing each other around like God knows what. So we'll stick him down there. So see he's reacted and he's aware and going back to safe mode and going to his his next waypoint and his next animation. So there you go. Now I'll show you how I did it. So let's go through how I did this. Our uh, soldier, if we just open him up, he's on aware. Um, and default is aware and normal. All I've done is slowed him down to a walk because he's entering the base. He's he'd more than likely in real life sort of be walking into the base. He's not going to be running in there. And I've given him a name S1 for Soldier 1. So that's literally it. His first waypoint is to here. So it goes through this trigger. So if we open this trigger up, Trigger activated by blue four present and on activation we've got S1 set behavior safe. So if we look at this, his behavior, you can have any of those. So you can change you can use that in other um, scenarios. So he, as he walks through that, he's going to change from aware but holding his gun up to safe we're holding his gun down by his side so he's a bit more relaxed while he's walking in base just looks nicer but you can use that um, in other scenarios say if you wanted them to change to um, stealth or whatnot so he goes to the first waypoint and on the first waypoint we open it up and on activation we we'll just put this in here and I'll put um, 
all these sort of scripts into the comments so you just copy and paste it and this is just saying uh, run this sqf file which i've called first wp first waypoint and on the second run second waypoint and third third waypoint and so on and i'll show you the sqf file okay so let's go through the sqf file if we take line one so s1 that refers to the unit that we um, named s1 now what you want to do is copy and paste the um, animation you want in between the quotations so overwrite that axe execution of squat line two sleep and this figure is the duration that i said earlier was very important it's the duration of the animation you want so remember i said you need to make a note of that so i use my mobile phone on the calculator just to make a note that is important um, because if it doesn't match the duration of the animation it'll obviously cut it short and look rubbish line three um, this is just empty quotations uh, that stays as it is that basically gets the unit out of the animation and lastly line four set behavior to safe so it's maintaining the safe posture throughout and that's it it's very simple i'll obviously copy and paste this into the comments so you can add it into your mission now the most important thing is this trigger here if we open this trigger up now the trigger is repeatable and that is important if you've got the um, the units on a loop like a patrol path that's looping so we want it to repeat the condition uh, that basically means if all of the red units or like the csat which are east are dead so less than one then this trigger will activate and on activation S1, which is our soldier, disable auto combat and disable cover. It's really important because if you don't have that, he'll just be running around for five minutes trying to find some cover for nothing. So, and it's really frustrating. So, I think that's it. I'll put all those bits in the comments so you can copy and paste. And I, I hope that helps. Alright, good luck guys.